The $3 million superannuation cap is on its way. So what does this mean for us as Australian expats or Australian residents at home when it comes to our retirement planning? Hi there, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner based here in Singapore. Thanks for tuning into the video today. Now we heard about this $3 million superannuation cap last year in 2023, and on the 10th of May, 2024, the committee, the Senate committee that was put together to review this, effectively agreed that it should be passed without really any meaningful amendments. Importantly, it also didn't get a mention that it would be indexed, which could be a problem or at least consideration for younger generations saving for their retirement. So let's have a look in this video today what this change means, what we should be doing about it, and how to actually calculate whether or not it will impact you when it comes to your retirement planning. So first things first, the $3 million cap is effectively being known as Division 296 tax. We have Division 293 tax in Australia, which usually applies on superannuation contributions if you earn over 250,000. So this is another way that you'll pay an additional tax if you've saved and accumulated too much wealth in the eyes of the Australian government, Senate committee in this case, uh, that has passed this and voted to approve this when it comes to your superannuation savings. Now, it's important to note that this will in all likelihood come into effect on the 1st of July, 2025. So we have plenty of time to be planning ahead there's no reason to be rushing out, shifting all of our money out of superannuation. In fact, that could actually cause a lot more damage than you might be aware of. We'll touch on that a little bit later in this video today. But it's important to note this cap has been approved. It's Division 296 tax, and it will apply on earnings gains on money above and beyond 3 million Australian dollars inside superannuation. So let's have a bit of a look at how it's actually going to be calculated, how you work out its impact to you, and when it will actually apply. So as I mentioned earlier, this is expected to come into effect from the 1st of July, 2025. So it will effectively apply on balances above $3 million as at the 30th of June, 2026. So as I said earlier, plenty of time to actually plan ahead. Now it's going to apply on the proportion of earnings, so capital gains, dividends, income received in your superannuation fund that is applicable or apportioned to the balance above $3 million. So the way it will be calculated is your total superannuation earnings will be calculated. It will be assessed based on how much of that was applied or generated by the excess of $3 million and that amount will be taxed at 15%. Now you will have the option of either paying out of pocket personally or paying via your superannuation fund. Now again, there is no one size fits all there. It may be far more beneficial for you to pay out of pocket than your superannuation fund and not deplete your superannuation balance. So make sure you seek advice on that one. But it's also important to note that this is not going to apply on built up capital gains up to the 1st of July, 2025, which is why it's so important to consider your plan and consider what you're doing and avoid any rash or hasty decisions to try and shift large amounts of money outside of your super fund. So let's have a bit of a look at what your options are, what you should be thinking about and how we can plan ahead for this change. So first and foremost, the thing to avoid is rash decisions, large withdrawals or large changes with your superannuation fund just to avoid this tax. The unrealized capital gains, the growth within your super, if you're already over this balance and you are in pension mode, isn't going to be taxed on the 1st of July, 2025. It's going to be on gains from that point going forward. So it's not going to apply retrospectively so again, follow this space for any changes, but make sure that we are planning ahead accordingly and not actually realizing capital gains and creating tax consequences that we wouldn't have otherwise had to pay. So that's 
the first point to make, avoid those rash decisions or large movements. Number two is to consider a long-term withdrawal strategy from your super fund to gradually bring down that balance to $3 million. Now, this is where it's very much case by case. You need to run your own numbers. What is your tax rate outside of super? Do you already have other income streams, rental income, business income, dividends, royalties, whatever it may be, that actually place you in a much higher tax bracket outside of super? So even with the additional 15%, we're better off keeping it inside super. You may also be in a position where you have no income outside of your super fund, and therefore with the tax-free threshold, with franking credits, we can generate a far better return investing that money outside of our super fund than within. So as I said, run your numbers, run the scenarios, but make sure we've got that gradual plan to make sure we're not paying any more tax than it needs to be. Uh, that is point two. And of course, the other point to be very mindful of is if your superannuation balance is below $3 million on the 30th of June, 2026, then this change is very unlikely to impact you at all. So there's not really a great deal you need to consider, but of course, consider what your balance may be going forward, depending on how it's invested, what your withdrawal strategy looks like, and of course, what your plans are going forward. Now, this change is a big one. It will impact a number of Australians, particularly Australian expats, looking to get large amounts of money inside their super fund when they return or for their future retirement in Australia. So as I said, plan ahead, run your numbers, don't pay any more tax than you need to, but avoid rash, hasty decisions just to avoid this tax, particularly if you're far better off doing nothing. Thank you for tuning in. Drop me a note with any questions you've got. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.